Hi, I'm Dimity Skye. Thank you so much for joining me on the mat today for this full body Pilates workout with optional weights. I am using just one set of two kilo weights here. If you're not sure what size weights would be best for you, I encourage you to just have a couple of different sets that you can mix and match with or don't use any. This whole workout can be done with or without them. Now this class is a part of the Pilates five day at home series. However, you can do it just as a standalone class or as part of the whole series. Other than your optional weights, all you'll need is yourself in some comfy clothes, a mat if you have one, otherwise space on the floor. Get ready and I'll see you soon. start class today standing on our mats and bring your feet so that you're slightly wider than hip width apart. There's a soft bend in your knees, your belly pulls in. You just start to swing the arms, just releasing any tension that may have built up, getting the blood flowing, all the fluid flowing through the body and then bring those arms overhead, forwards and backwards. Keep your core engaged. One more forwards, one more backwards. Then a little rotation of the spine. You can start with the elbows bent and then start to straighten the arms. Just here for three, two, and one. Nice, and then step out to the wide part of your mat. Bring your legs out nice and wide, heels in, toes pointed out, and come down. You want your knees tracking past your second or third toe. That's a pretty, pretty decent grid. All right, bring your hands to the insides of the thighs. Open up, inhale. Exhale, drop your right shoulder in. Press against right inner thigh. Inhale, back to center. Exhale for the other side. One more round, inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, rise up and then just start to move the hips from side to side. As your body starts to release, you can bring the hands all the way down. This little warm up sequence is one I do most of the time before my practices before I get on the mat. Just a really nice way to get the fluid flowing, all the blood flowing, warm up through the major joints. Just go one more to the back, one more to the front. And then come on up and take a step to the back of your mat. Inhale as you sweep hands up. Exhale, walk your hands all the way out and bring your knees in four times. We go right, left, right, left, four shoulder taps, right to left, left to right, right to left, left to right, walk it back up. Inhale, exhale, walk it down. Count out five of these, right, left, right, left, tap, tap, tap. Tap. Of course, you can move faster or slower. You can do more, you can do less. Just make sure you make this time on the mat your own. You don't need to keep up with me. And of course, you can move faster than me if you like. All the way up, inhale. Exhale, walk it down. Right, left, right, left. Tap, tap, tap. Tap, walk it back up. Inhale, last one. Exhale, all the way down. We go right, left, right, left. Tap, 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 and tap. Press back, downward facing dog. 
And just start to paddle the feet out, move your hips from side to side, bend your knees. Make any sort of movements that feel good. And then come into a still downward facing dog and raise your right leg up. Point your toes, spin your right hip point down to square your hip. Hold here. Now exhale, bring your right knee to the right elbow. Hold for three, two, one. Inhale, leg back up. Exhale, right knee, left elbow. Shoulders over wrists, bum down. Hold for three, two, one. Inhale, leg back up. Exhale, knee to nose, round your spine. Hold. Three, two, step your foot in between the hands. Lower your back knee down. Inhale as you sweep hands up. Exhale, plant your hands, straighten your front leg and flex your toes in. Plant your front foot, plant your hands, step it back to plank, back to downward facing dog. Raise your left leg up, point your toes, spin your left hip point down to square your hips. Exhale, left knee into left elbow, hold. See if you can give that elbow a kiss with the knee. Inhale, leg back up. Exhale, left knee, right elbow, hold. Three, two, one. Inhale, leg back up. Exhale, knee to nose, round your spine, hold. Step foot in between hands, lower back knee down. Inhale as you sweep hands up. Exhale, plant your hands, straighten your front leg and flex your toes in. Now plant your front foot, plant your hands, step it back into plank, press back, downward facing dog. Really nice. All right, now lower your knees down and come over onto your back. We're going to start using the weights. Okay, so grab your weights if you're using them, knowing that they are completely optional. Okay, so you can do this whole workout. I know I've said it, you can do this whole workout with or without them. All right, if you are using them, come all the way down and extend your arms out to either side. Now, extend your legs out so you're one big starfish. Okay, take your right hand, your palms are facing up, Right hand taps left toes, reach on up. Inhale all the way down. Exhale, other side. Left hand, right foot. Inhale down, nice. Reach on up, inhale down. Reach on up, inhale down. That's two, going for 10. Up and up. Three, reach. And reach, four, reach, and reach, five, use your breath, six, seven, eight, nearly there, reach, and Reach for nine, one more. Reach and reach. Really nice. All right, now from here, you're gonna change the direction of your hands so your palms are facing down. Bring your feet in so that they're next to each other instead of nice and wide and raise your right leg up. Now option to hover your left leg here. That will really take it up a level. You're gonna keep that left, right leg straight, toes pointed, and give me some nice big hip circles. Pressing your lower back down. Nice. Now if this is too much on your lower back, firstly, you rest that left leg on the mat, and secondly, just make those circles smaller. So the bigger the circles are, the harder this will be. Three, two, one. Circles the other way, opposite direction. Press that lower back down. You got this. Stay with me. If you can take it up a level, raise that left leg up for three, for two, 
one. All right, extend that right leg up, leg straight point through the toes. Now you're going to reach over with both hands, reach your left hand over to the right, grabbing a hold of your right weight. Reach past your right leg, reach, reach, reach. Really engage your core. Now you're gonna take that left leg, bring it up to meet the right. Good. Now flex in how lower, the, as you lower, point exhale up, nice. Flex in how lower, point exhale up, two. Flex in how lower, point exhale up, three. Flex in how, point exhale, four. Five, reach, 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 six. Seven, eight, nine, last one, and ten. Nice. Now flexing both feet, lower, and take that weight overhead. Reach nice and long. Take a deep breath in here, and a deep breath out. And then raise your legs up. Reach the weight up, tap your toes. Inhale down, open up the legs. Reach in between the legs for 10. Tap and reach nine. See if you can keep legs as straight as possible. Tap and reach eight. Tap and reach seven. Tap and Reach for six. Stay with me, come on. For five. Tap and reach for four. Tap and reach, that's three. For two more. For two. Last one, tap. Reach and hold. Three, two, and one, slowly release, bring the knees back together, bring the weight out to the side and just hug your knees in for a moment. Now extend your arms out to either side and you can place them on the weights if you like, you'll need them there in a moment. Let your knees gently fall over to the right, gaze to the left. Gently releasing the back, inhale back to center. And exhale for the other side, let those knees gently fall to the left. You can gaze right if you like. Inhale back to center, and guess what? We have that little sequence all over again. Starting from our starfish. All right, so palms facing upwards. Take a breath in. Left hand, right foot. Reach, down and reach. That's it, 10. Use your breath, nine. Reach and reach for eight. Reach, reach for seven. For six. For five. And four, four, three, four, two, one more. And reach lower. All right, bring your feet in nice and close. Turn your palms to face down and extend your left leg up. Option to hover your right leg. Nice big circles with that left leg. Whew. Keeping lower back, pressing down into the mat. And remember, you can modify by resting your right leg and just making those circles smaller. All right, three, two, and one circles the other direction. Come on, you can do it. Not only is this amazing for your core strength, but also really great exercise for hip mobility. Just here for four, three, two, and one. Meet me with that left leg up. Now reach both hands over past the left leg for the weight on the left reach. 
All right, now take your right leg, bring it up to meet the left. Flex inhale, lower, point exhale, up 10. Flex inhale, point exhale, nine. Flex and point eight, reach, flex. And point seven, flex. And point six, five, four. Your core should really be saying hello at this point, three. Two, and both legs up. All right, now arms overhead, flex, inhale as you lower those legs one vertebrae at a time. Whew, reach out nice and long. Okay, let's go. Bring those legs up, tap, and reach, 10. Moving on from core after this, tap, and reach for nine. Tap, and Reach, eight, tap, and reach, seven. Reach for six, five, stay with me, come on. And reach, four, tap, and reach, three, Whew. tap, and reach for two, come on, last one. Tap and reach and release. Whew. Arm out, release that weight, hug your knees in. Amazing job, my friends. All right, now from here, roll on up and over onto your hands and knees. And have your weights by your side. So they're ready for you and you just need your weight in your right hand to start off with. So come into a tabletop position. You want your hands directly underneath your shoulders, your knees directly underneath your hips. Extend your left leg out and take that weight in the right hand. All right, now from here, you're just going to row, tap, row, tap. Row. Working our back, well, really the whole back line. So we're working our spine, working our glutes. Row and row. Here for 12, 11, 10, 12, 11, 10. Keep your hips stable, nine. Meaning you're not rocking more to one side. Seven. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Alrighty, now from here, uh, place your left knee in, grab a hold of both weights, and come on up onto your knees. I'm going to spin this way so that you guys can see me. Bring your hands to face forward, roll your shoulders down your back. And then we bring those weights up and up into a Y. Down, down, 10, up, up, down, nine, up, up. Remember you can do this whole thing without the weights as well, that's fine. Up, down, seven, up, up, down, four, six, up, down, four, five, four, Three, two, up, up, down, and one. Now bring those weights up and together. Now, squeezing your triceps in, you're gonna bring the weights down behind you and then all the way up and around. Squeeze your shoulder blades back, 10. Inhale back, exhale nine. Inhale back. Exhale, eight. Using control, not momentum. So you don't want to swing those weights back. You want to maintain control of the movement. The way I like to do that is making sure that I add a little pause at the base, even if it's just a millisecond. All right, here for three. And how back. 
Exhale, round two. Last one. Inhale, back. Exhale, one. All right, now come down. You can lose the weight in the right hand. Weight stays in left hand. You might like to set yourself up first. Tabletop. Extend right leg. Weight in left hand. And row. 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 20 of these, that's three. Four. In Pilates, we never use heavy weights. We rely on the tempo and the repetitions to increase that intensity. That's why we can do things like 20 reps of one exercise. But of course, as I said, you can move faster or slower. You can always do less. Just here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. All right, bring your leg in, grab a hold of those weights. And one more round, bring the hands in. Palms facing out, we go up, up, down, down, 10, up, up, down, nine, up, down, four, eight, seven, up, up, down, four, six, five, four, Three, up, down, four, two, last one, up, up, down, four, one. Bring the arms up again, bring them together, squeeze triceps in, weights come behind you, and around 10. Nine, inhale back, exhale, eight, inhale, Exhale, seven. Inhale, back. Exhale, six. Five. Working whole body today. Four. Inhale, back. Well, every day. Always like to make things holistic. Three. Making sure that you're working your entire beautiful body. For two, last one, inhale back, exhale, and one. Alrighty, I'm gonna spin back around this way. Now what we're going to do is you're going to step your right foot forward, and then your left foot up, and then your right foot down, and left foot down. Now do the same left side, left, right, left, right. Make sure you use a blanket underneath your knees if you need, right. Left, right, left, left, right, left, right, two, right, left, right, left, left, right, left, and right, three, going for five, left, right, left, left, right, left, and right, four, last one, left, Right, left, left, right, left, and right. Five, really nice. Alrighty, now from here, you're gonna bring those weights down beside you. Place your hands down, extend the legs back, and give me a little bit of cardio here. Mountain climbers, drive those knees in. So talking about making workouts holistic, Always nice to add a little bit of cardio here. Sneak it in. Just here for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Press back, downward facing dog, and then walk your feet to your hands. Inhale to a halfway lift, 
Exhale as you fold forward, relax your head, relax your neck. And then while you're folded forward, if you can, you can reach for your weights. Now not cranking your lower back, making sure that you've got that soft bend in your knees, rolling shoulder blades down your back. Use your heels to press on up. Nice. Okay, here we are, we're nearly done guys. Not long to go. Standing on right leg, you're gonna raise your left leg up. Now reverse, bring that left knee up and tip it forward. Left leg back, a little bit of balance. Leg up, reverse, use front heel, up and back. Two, bring it up, reverse, up, three, up, reverse, up, four, going for 10, five, up, reverse, up, four, six, seven, Stay with me, eight, nine, oh, nearly lost it, reverse, up this time, I want you to come down, pivot those weights, so weights are down, bring the weights all the way down, rest your hands on them, now take that, left leg, come all the way down, bring left knee to the outside of right foot, Kick it on up, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Keep that leg behind you, tap the mat, kick it up, 10, 9, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Step the foot next to the right. Come all the way up. Ha! Ah, your thighs should be saying hello. All right, guys, we're so close. We're nearly done. We've got that on the other side, and then we're starting to cool it down. All right, standing on left foot. Bring right knee in. All right, now we reverse, up, tip it forward. Bring the knee up, 10, reverse, up, forward, nine. Use front heel, core engaged, up, eight. Seven, find your point of focus. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two, last one. Come on, stay with it. One. All right, now bring that leg back. Pivot your weights. Bring the weights all the way down. Hands resting on the weights. Your right leg is straight, toes pointed. Now take right knee to the outside of left foot. Kick it up. See if you can tap that knee to the mat. Two. Three. Four, five, so close, six, seven, eight, nine, last one, ten, keep that right leg extended, toes pointed, all right, tap and kick, tap, ten, nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, 
And one, now everybody come down, you can place those weights aside. Talking about sneaky cardio before. One more set of sneaky cardio. We've got bicycle twist, elbow to knee. Let's go, extend, extend, extend. Whew, final push here, come on, and then we're done. Press that lower back down, bring elbow to knee, just here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 4, 4, sorry guys, must be a tech glitch, <laughs> 3, 2, and 1, release, hug your knees in, Whew. amazing effort guys, you guys smashed it, Whew. all right, now come to sit on up, it's important that when your heart rate's up, that you maintain an upright position. All right, coming up, straighten your legs, roll your shoulder blades down, inhale, and exhale as you fold it forward. Just do a couple minutes of stretching, and then we are done. So important that we have this time to let our nervous system come back to a state of calm. Just taking a couple of minutes here. One more breath. And slowly release. Now take your right leg, cross it over the top of the left, keep that left leg straight. Bring your right hand behind, inhale your left arm up, exhale for a little twist. So gently pressing left elbow against right outer knee. Spine nice and straight, gazing behind. Inhale back to center and take it to the other side. Left leg over, left arm behind, right arm up, gentle twist. Taking some long, slow, deep breaths here. One more deep breath here. And very slowly release, come back to center and come on down. Cross your right leg over the left. Reach on through for a reclined pigeon. Flexing your right toes in, stretch out your booty. And slowly release, take it to the other side. Cross your left leg over the right. Reach on through. Keep your left toes flexed. And slowly release. And just take a happy baby pose, grab a hold of the insides or the outsides of the feet or around the ankles if that feels better. Taking deep breaths in and out. And slowly release. All right, now you can extend yourself out into the mat. You're very welcome to take a Shavasana here. I fully encourage that. Take two, three, five, ten minutes just to allow the effects of our beautiful time on the mat together to fully integrate. This is where I leave you. So from my heart to yours, namaste. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. Make sure you let me know how you go, and I look forward to practicing with you again soon.